One of the interesting things about being a fiction writer is that sometimes people come at you with, oh, that was not believable. This would never happen. That would never happen. Okay, first off, it's fiction. Uh, and Stephen King made a career out of things that would just not be possible. So part of it you have to let go. Part of it you have to have a little bit of suspension of disbelief. But the one that gets me is this book right here. <laughs> this is my book, The Diocese Dilemma. It's about a priest who becomes a serial killer because he thinks some people are confessing. They're not really repentant. They see the confessional as a get out of hell free card. And he decides to send him up to meet St. Peter. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. They're bad people. And what he did to the child molester, I'm absolutely not sorry about. But I've had people come up to me or contact me through social platforms and through my website. One, one person got my email address and sent me an email about this thing and said, a priest would never do that. A priest certain good. I grew up Catholic. OK. We can have the argument all day long, but I'm just going to say this. Historically, any organization the size of the Catholic Church has good people and not good people. It's too big for everybody to be perfect. Now, I'm going to point something out as I was doing research for this book that I came across that I didn't know. This book, The Pope at War, The Secret History of Pius XII, Mussolini, and Hitler. One of many books I read when I was prepping this thing. At one point in time, Pope Pius XII, who really liked being famous and liked being seen on the world stage and liked knowing all the world leaders, he was sort of into that, that kind of stuff. Tried to get an audience. This tried to get an audience with Hitler, Adolf Hitler. This is before the invasion of Poland, um, before things got really bad during World War II. I think it was before the invasion of Poland. Um, Hitler, Adolf Hitler, refused the audience with the Pope because he felt it would be bad for his image due to the Church's history of abuses with children. Adolf Hitler, then here, refused an audience with the Pope because it was bad for his image. Hitler. Okay, think about that for a minute. If Hitler thought the Pope was bad for his image, you think maybe a serial killer priest is not that big of a stretch? I mean, come on, just a little bit. Um, anyway, I, I just had to get that off my chest. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Uh, click like and subscribe if you want to. Uh, but uh, I hope everybody has enjoyed their weekend. Thank you.